How's it going everyone? It's your favorite Kiki Love and Doggo Dexter here. Welcome back to another video. It's been quite a while since I actually made a video. But as you can see here, I actually got a really nice camera so I can actually record some very decent quality videos for you guys whenever I can and I hope to make more in the future for you guys. Now, recently I had actually went on my very first fur shoot adding with Dexter and it was quite an amazing trip actually. We went to a local mall and we got to meet a lot of people and a lot of hugs and smiles along the way. There were so many kids and they almost actually ripped my tail off, but they're kids, so, but my handlers handle it pretty well. However, during my very first first year outing, it wasn't entirely the best and there's a reason why. Now, during my very first first year outing, I went with two handlers, my both my sisters who were going to the mall anyway. So they decided to come along with me and have some fun. So I gave them basic rundowns and what a handler was supposed to do and what to look out for and they did a very good job except when it came to lunch. We actually got permission from the mall to go for a shoot and they actually gave us a private room where the employees used to go but they no longer go to basically get take our food from the food court to go eat drink so could, I could take my head off without breaking the magic in front of the kids and there was a lot of kids there. Now when it came to uh, going back out there we actually took maybe about an hour to an hour and a half break because I didn't exactly know how long I could first shoot but I only first shooted for like maybe I want to say about an hour and a half before I needed a break because it was very hot that day so um, after we ate and stuff we went back out and it was quite a fun time but it came to maybe about three hours into my first shoot outing where we were heading to the second level of the mall and we got approached by a few individuals now only one of them actually approached and they asked if they could get a picture so I was like uh okay so I was looking around for the other person he said where's the other person he said ah he's he went to the bathroom he'll be right back so I was like okay um I actually asked my handlers, one of them to watch the front and one of them to watch the back. So when we did this, I posted the picture and he got a few pictures done. However, by the time my handler told me about it, ugh, <clears throat> fur in my mouth, we had a person coming up from the back behind us and he literally ran around my handler and jumped onto my back. With such force, he made me topple over and landed on Dexter's snot. Now, Dexter's uh, uh, nose is pretty heavily built with uh, reinforced foam, so Stars did a very good job of that because he landed straight on the nose and it didn't actually break it. And when that happened, we had a security guard by who basically forced himself off of me, and I just stood there. I'm like, Are you kidding me? Why would you do that? I literally stood there, there were no kids around, so I went to a local store and took off Dexter's head, and I had a bag to put Dexter's head in and stuff in, so I don't have to worry about breaking the magic. And I approached the person and I said, why would you do that to a person? He's like, I thought it would be cute. How is that cute? You nearly busted my ACL. Four months ago I tore my ACL which is the uh, a ligament inside your knee that I had to get surgery for and four months of rehabilitation afterwards. You don't do that to a person you don't know. Not whatsoever. Never once should you attack someone who has limited proverbial vision. It's not very good for a person inside the first week and you don't know what is wrong with them. So if you guys do anything or take anything from this video, just please be very careful. I'll talk to you guys. Bye-bye.